Do you know what you started? You got some people really upset at me, man. Yo, brothers. You're at home with the geek. I'm Mark, aka the Little Black Dude. After watching my blind Oreos challenge, my assistant, Little Devil Brat 99, decided to suggest that I do a Peeps challenge as well. If you haven't seen my Oreo challenge, mash the card in the other uh, corner there. And if you're enjoying that, make sure you subscribe and feel free to suggest some other challenges that I should do. Now, this is going to consist of two parts. First off, I got my bag of random peeps and I've got my blindfold. All of my peeps have been taken from the same position, so no guessing by where the other the rips are. Okay. The second part is going to be unblindfolded, but it's going to involve these. Apparently, the Peeps company decided to make mystery flavors this year. I was only able to find uh, one of the three that they've got there, but I'm going to try and figure it out. So I want you guys to either hit me on Facebook, on Twitter, or in the down low, and let me know if you've had these before, what you think the flavor is. Part one! So I got my bag. Check. I got my blindfold. Check. Let's do this! Okay, first peep. First one. Hmm. Hmm. Much as I like that, I think this is the original here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is an original peep here. Next peep. Hmm. Ooh, I like that. Hmm. I think this might be watermelon. I think this might be watermelon. This will be pretty good. My next peep here. Hmm. Hmm. I think this is this is the party cake. I think. Not sure. Not sure. But I think this is the party cake. Next peep. All right, let's see. This one's bubble gum. This one is bubble gum. Mm -hmm. You're not bad, actually. I like it. Next peep. I can tell. Hmm. This might be the party cake one. I'm not sure though. I am not sure at all. And this is the last one. Oh, that's tangy. I like that. Hmm. Oh, wait. This is the watermelon. The last one I did that I said was watermelon, that one had to have been fruit punch. This, this has got to be watermelon. This has got to be watermelon. Hmm. At least I think so. <laughs> so, let's see how I did. Uh, it seems that I only got three out of the other uh, six right. But, uh, it would have been worse had I not realized of them. So starting first with the, uh, the cotton candy here. These are actually pretty nice, but they taste way too similar to the, uh, the normal ones. It doesn't scream, hey, I'm cotton candy. 
So I wasn't able to pick up on it, but I do like the fact that they got the nice little flex in there. That that does make it look nice. Now, the fruit punch. Fruit punch, this was very nice, actually. I did like that it was tangy, you know? But that was the reason why I thought it was watermelon originally, because I knew it was going to be. And I really did like the way this did. Yeah, these are not going to survive. <laughs> now, I didn't think I was gonna like the party cake, but the fact that I was able to identify it made me really happy. Because usually with, uh, with like cake-like flavors, as you can tell with uh, the last video, I usually can't, can't tell, which sucks, but oh well. But this was actually pretty good, and it was, it was really easy to identify. Okay. Now, the bubble gum here. I smelled this before I tasted it, so I knew this was bubble gum. Okay. Same thing as with, uh, with the mint Oreo. As soon as I bit it, I knew which one it was. But this one was really strong. It was all right. I didn't like this particularly, but I could definitely tell what it was. Okay. This is depressing, though. This is an original peep. I've been eating these things since I was a little kid. I should know what one of these tastes like. <laughs> so I was a little upset that I wasn't able to identify this right off the bat. Yeah. But then this guy, the watermelon. First off, I love the fact it's green on the outside and pink on the inside. That just makes sense. <laughs> but this was so strong. I was like, there's no way that this could be anything but the watermelon. So I had to have been wrong about the, uh, the, the fruit punch one. But yeah, these were a lot better, I will say. Now we move on to the mystery peeps here. So before we get started, I'm gonna try and come up with a, an idea of what the flavor might be just from looking at it, okay? So right off the bat, I see that they're white and they have you know, blue and purple flecks all over them. So, it could be like an ice cream type thing, or say like a custard. No, it could be like that. I don't really know if they would do that though. That's, that's really the thing. Um, let me open this up here and see if we can't get a good idea from the smell of it. Okay, let me see. Grab one of these guys here. Okay. Ooh, oh, that smells nice. That smells really nice. It actually smells like something baked. It really does smell like some, uh, something baked. I like it. Almost like a, uh, like a cinnamon bun of some kind, or maybe like a donut. Well, I'm about to find out. Here goes. This tastes kind of like chocolate cake to me. It, it tastes like chocolate cake to me. That's what I'm tasting here is chocolate cake. There goes my peeps challenge there. I want you guys to sound off now. What do you think the flavor is of these mystery peeps here? If you've had these before, leave a comment in the down low, hit me on Facebook or tweet to me on Twitter. Use the hashtag mystery peeps flavor. Let me know what you think the flavor is. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'm always happy to meet new people. And if you want to see more stuff that I'm doing, make sure you come over to these videos here and just let me know what you think. Okay, till next time, this is the little black dude. Stay geek and proud.